Harley needs to be stopped. She's preying on innocent people, and we still don't even know what she's aiming for. It would seem to me that it's Dr. Q who's causing all this chaos, no? That's what I said. Uh, of course! If we take down Dr. Q's empire, Harley won't be able to hurt anyone else, no matter what she calls herself. Sounds like a sensible plan to me. Thank you, Alfred. Turn into Clay? Belfry, I think Clayface might be back. I thought he died. From what I just fought, I doubt that. But we'll have to investigate this further to be sure. Clayface, if you're in there, stop this! <laughs> Thank you! Where could it be? I want to do this, Clayface, but you're not giving me a choice. Thanks for that! got a bunch of clay for us to analyze. How did you know what I wanted for my birthday?
Ms. Harley is so smart. You can't figure out a thing about these implants. All I know is they make people want to have fun. Our kind of fun. That's for sure. There's a good little clip. Someone pay it! working out of this lab again. Officers needed near the new tri-corner yard. Officers, we have reports of suspicious behavior. Next stop, prison.
out with Dr. Q. Better check in with the others at the Belfry. Bring it on. You must be Oscar. Was wondering when one of you vigilantes would show up. Of course, you're not the wildest thing I've seen around here. Guess it's not always smooth sailing down at the docks? Not by a long shot. I've seen all kinds of shady containers come through here. Too afraid to open them, though. Can't lose this job. So you join the watch. Got that right. I don't even want to know what I might find in some of these containers, but someone who can do something about it definitely should. I think I can help with that. Tell me whatever you can. The court has Hendrix. They can't have gone far. Officers, we have reports of suspicious behavior. And that's Hendrix. Whoever's out there, I knocked out one guy before. 
I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. The court probably wanted to make sure you didn't talk. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel too. Thanks. This is incredibly helpful. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had the fight to leave, have you? Raish is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks, 
But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Gross. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. Really, Miss Hill? 